might want to take notes. I was supposed to already had my left hip replaced in April, but because of the virus, they delayed it to August the 3rd. Now, when I had my other hip done, the pain went away immediately as soon as I had the surgery. It was no pain. Uh, except, you know, I had pain from the incision, of course. I was wearing high heels in two weeks, driving in two weeks, and all pain meds in two weeks. I mean, everything was fine. The pain mostly is, you know, you have to put the ice packs on your hip, like night and day, and that keeps the swelling at, uh, at bay. So, I uh, had a spinal fusion. I had six rods in my back. So that pain level is always at a four, but because my left hip now is painful, it exasperates the back, okay? I have a doctor's note saying I can't work more than four hours and I have to have light duty, no twisting, no bending. I can't lift anything over 15 pounds. So I go to pain management. Now keep in mind, I canceled the first one because I was in too much pain to drive people. I canceled it. So they finally gave me an appointment. Of course, everybody had to stay six feet apart and you had to wear your mask. So I go in there, I bring in all my medical records. She pulls up, she spends an hour going over every pill I've taken in the last 10 years. And I'm not exaggerating people. There was some doctors that, I didn't, they were like out of Ohio, New York, but what happens is these doctors who are running these urgent cares, they may not be stationed where at the uh, urgent care, if you understand what I'm saying. So she was saying all these doctors' names, and I go, well, wait a minute, there's a problem. Uh, there's a problem. Okay, so she spends a whole hour. She pulls up. Uh, she wants to know why I've had three doctors in the last seven years. I said, well, I had the same doctor for 30 years. He was across from the Red Lobster in Fredericksburg for 30-some years. Uh, and then he retired. He was like 80 years old. I said, so I was when I moved to Tabanic, I started going to a uh, doctor there. And they were just floater doctors. They were not permanent. They were just temporary. So I've gone through three doctors in the last six years because of that reason. So she's finding all this very peculiar, you know. I guess I would too. So um, she goes, yes, you're a prime candidate for, for pain pain management. I said, listen, I only need it for two months because once I have my operation... I won't need anything for pain because it will be addressed with just a leave or gabapentin or endomethacin, whatever. So I'm getting ready to go and then they come in, they go, okay, you have to go t get a urine test right now, okay? Now, if you've been watching me the last week, you know that I've got a leak in my car and it's supposed to rain for four days. So I'm getting ready to take my car over to my ex-husband because he's the one who got me the Cadillac. And he's going to fix the leak, troubleshoot it. And then I got I to gotta be at work. And I said, you all never told me that I have to go get, take urine and blood. I said... My, my schedule's done two weeks in advance. I said, she goes, will you come back tomorrow? I said, no, you don't understand. I have to work in the morning. And then after I get off work, I got to go take a two-hour nap. She thought I could just double back. And I said, you don't understand. It takes everything out of me just to, just to come here today. You want me to double back tomorrow? And I even told her, I said, after I work my shift, I have to go home and lay down for two hours. Evidently, she wasn't listening very well. I'd repeat myself three times. Of course, when they got the mask on, you can't hear anything they're saying anyway. So, she goes, now you have to see a psychiatrist. 
for pain management. So when do, why do you have to see a psychiatrist? Then she wanted to know if anybody in my family was an alcoholic. I go, well, most of my family's dead. You know, nobody in my family that I know of has got an alcohol or problem. So I go, why didn't they tell me this when I booked the appointment? No, that's not up to the front desk to tell you that. See, it's all just a game. Oh, my God. Then you have to make two other appointments, of course, to get your blood and urine done and then see a psychiatrist. And then you come back and see her again. Okay, you know what that's doing? That's making money for all these doctors. And I can't afford the co-pays as it is, which is why I have a GoFundMe. I can't even pay for, the, for, for, for this one today. That's the thing. Oh, my God. See, then two other doctors get money, and then she gets more money when I have to go back for a second time. I said, I can't do it. I said, I have to make a living to pay for all these co-pays. Oh my God, I could I could just cry, but you know what? I already knew it was going to be like this. I already knew. I worked for a pharmacy. I already knew. If I had the time, if I didn't have to go to work, I could have, and if I didn't have a leak in my Cadillac, I could have gone and done all this, but all these doctor's appointments is racking up and, and and I have enough doctor bills as it is. Oh, my God. Oh, but she did tell me that I could quadruple my gabapentin because I'm just taking like three to 600 a day. She says some people take 9,000. I go, what? She goes, yeah, 9,000 milligrams. Lordy, lordy, lordy. I would never, I would never, ever. I mean, you got to watch out for your liver, people. Okay, everybody, here's the lowdown about pain management. You might want to take notes. I was supposed to already had my left hip replaced in April, but because of the virus, they delayed it to August the 3rd. Now, when I had my other hip done, the pain went away immediately. As soon as I had the surgery, it was no pain. Uh, except, you know, I had pain from the incision, of course. I was wearing high heels in two weeks, driving in two weeks, and all pain meds in two weeks. I mean, everything was fine. The pain mostly is, you know, you have to put the ice packs on your hip, like night and day, and that keeps the swelling at, uh, at bay. So, I uh, had a spinal fusion. I had six rods in my back. So that pain level is always at a four, but because my left hip now is painful, it exasperates the back, okay? I have a doctor's note saying I can't work more than four hours and I have to have light duty, no twisting, no bending. I can't lift anything over 15 pounds. So I go to pain management. Now keep in mind, I canceled the first one because I was in too much pain to drive people. I canceled it. So they finally gave me an appointment. Of course, everybody had to stay six feet apart and you had to wear your mask. So I go in there, I bring in all my medical records. She pulls up, she spends an hour going over every pill I've taken in the last 10 years. And I'm not exaggerating, people. There was some doctors that, I didn't, they were like out of Ohio, New York, but what happens is these doctors who are running these urgent cares, they may not be stationed where at the uh, urgent care, if you understand what I'm saying. So she was saying all these doctors' names, and I go, well, wait a minute, there's a problem. Uh, there's a problem. Oh, now I've lost my train of thought.